Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 from Austin Gromit Grand Adventure, Mako. Delta of Games Production. Walls and Gromit. Again. Also. That should do it, lad. Our brand new Infini flavor ice cream makers ready for business. Um, Patent pending, of course. Its infrared taste analyzer can sample any flavor and turn it into a delicious ice cream. What do you say, Gromit? Fancy pushing the button on our inaugural batch? Wensleydale cream, anyone? Hmm. Okay. Look at it churn, lad. Just in time to be road tested in front of paying customers at the fair this weekend. And all in a good cause, hmm? Miss Flit says it's to raise money to rebuild the dog shelter. The I poor see. pups have been homeless for too long. Imagine if you had no place to call home sweet kennel from it. What the hell? Hmm. Must be the breeze. Miss Flit says the strays have been making mischief all over town. On Tuesday, Mrs. Gabbley's shop was terrorized by a gang of terriers. No doubt they'll come to heel once they've a proper roof over their heads. I'm sure everyone will give generously at the fair to build them a new home. I can't be the only dog lover in town. Yeah, I see that. Whoa! Wild dogs, stray scoundrels, mangy good for nothing mongrels mangling me machine. They must be some of the escapees. Oh god. Oh no! Me crank! Me lever! The flavor engraver, the brains of our custom flavor scanner lad, it's been scrambled. The four legged fiends! Oh dear me. I'm sorry, lad, but this is some serious damage. I suppose it's nothing that can't be fixed. I'll tinker with the flavor engraver if you track down our filched crank and our lifted lever. And this cute one's going to need to be calmed down as well. Mind you, it'll take a month of ice cream sundaes to put things right if I can't patch things up. You've got to get them in order if we're going to have the Infini flavor ready for the fair this weekend. Come on, lad, you're a dog. You can reason with them. Yeah, sure. All that hard hey. work fouled up by a few rogue whippets. A toy. It's mine. And no one else's. Uh, let's give it to the dog. Your old toy certainly did the trick, didn't it, lad? Oh my, you used to being so attached to it. Took quite a spell to wean you off it, in fact. Now we can focus on getting this machine up and running. Sure. Hey, give me that thing, you. Oh, Wanna fight? Right. This machine might not be completely cream crackered after all. That's Let's all? have a shifty. Yeah, I didn't think so. Whoa! <laughs> Is it pretending that it was shot? Afraid it's still a bit uh, discombobulated, lad. <laughs> yeah, sure, Wallace. Hmm, I have an idea. Okay. Sweet, now we have to 
find the lever. Or was it a crank? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go upstairs. And find the other dog. There it is. Oh, it thinks it's a boat. No! You, you little terror! <laughs> wow. Have fun with the dog, Miss Blitz. Oh, hey, it's Major Brom, and guess something. Morning, Private. At ease, Private, at ease. I'm sure by now you've received intelligence about the morale raising ops this weekend. Uh, Should be a jolly old time. Like when Ensign used to come and rouse the troops, reminded the squaddies what they were fighting for. I remember being stationed in Algeria, and the association organized a whole day of fanfare. Unbelievable! There was Fatima the Snake Charmer, the ever-popular Monkey Toss competition, even a couscous eating contest. Uh... Which me, I expect you to be at the fair when I display my digestive prowess. <laughs> what? The pie eating contest, Private. You must have seen the sign-up sheet in town. Nobody will challenge the great major, though. I shall be uncontested. They don't call me Cool Hand Crumb for nothing, you know. I see. Let's change that, shall we? Okay, who is taking a leak? Oh, no one. It came from the fountain. Oh, there's the four. Let's show to Gabriel. Oh, morning, pet. Out for walkies. Certainly a grand day for it. Anything I can do for you? What you got there, Chuck? A pie-eating contest. Well, isn't that festive? Me? Oh, I don't know about that. I, I do love the odd meat pie. But a scoffing contest? That wouldn't be ladylike, would it? <laughs> Don't trouble enough for being ladylike without a meat pie in your gob. Ouch. Oh, do I? Tell that to Postman. He seemed quite taken with me this morning. It's only because he's got an eye defect. <laughs> oh, shut up, you curmudgeonly codger. You know what, Chuck? I will sign up for the contest. I think it's a splendid idea, and I plan on winning in a most ladylike fashion, naturally. Let's see. Oh, just me and the major, is it? Hmm. He's no match for Winnie Gabberly. There I you see. go, Gromit. I expect you to attend my victory party. Oh, nice. Hey Major, you have a competition. Ah, yes, the pie-eating contest. Nobody's signed up yet to take on the mighty Major Crumb. Uh. I'd love to meet another man. Toe to toe on the field of battle, mano a mano, feasting to the death until the best man wins. Look at the form. Edwina? She thinks she can out-eat the likes of me? Oh, ho, ho, that's a good one, Private. I'd love to see her staring down the barrel of a ketchup bottle. There's just no way she can win. Impossible. She could never. <laughs> These blinking biscuits. I've been munching on them all day. They're going to fill me up. Private! Attention! Get rid of these vile things! I've got to prepare for battle! My 
guts must be ready for all the pie I can throw at them if I'm going to crush that woman. She's challenged the wrong man. Battle stations! Sure thing, Major. Okay, I think I can... Uh, I know how to get rid of the dog. Uh, did you let the dogs out? This mangy whippet is... is ravaging my roses. Game hurtling out of your master's house with some sort of bone in its mouth. Hmm, feeding the strays really is the last straw. Now, he's gone underground and... Lord knows what he's doing to my roots. And where's Wallace when I need him? Are there no real men left in this world to protect a woman's property? Don't it's not just even stand your there. Husband, lady. Do something. You're a dog. Can't you reason with him? In a minute, lady. God damn. There you are. See, now we have the crank thing. Ah, you did it. Thank goodness. You've rid my garden of the nasty little rascal and with little damage. A uh, lever, I mean. Now be sure it never happens again. I don't want to see any more of your canine companions on my property. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your bitch down already. God damn, she's more annoying than Lily from the Walking Dead game. Okay, now let's put the lever and we're done. And I let's suppose do it. that lever does look a bit like an old bone, doesn't it? No wonder the crafty canine went and buried it. Give a dog a bone and into the ground it goes. It's their nature. Yeah. Oh no. Did our fastening nut go missing? It holds the lever in place. It's a critical part of the apparatus, Gromit. Well, this is no good, lad. That was my last number 12. What rotten luck. Oh dear. So now we're supposed to... Huh? What's up, boy? Oh! Thanks! Look at that! He found our nut! Fantastic, Grummy! Uh, perhaps I was a bit hard on him before. I didn't know the little one had a penchant for tinkering. Aww. Oh, he's just afraid. Heavens above, he's a positively petrified pooch. Poor little lad. We ought to call him Twitch. Mm, yeah, that sounds nice. Well, that should do it. And there we have it, lad. Uncrossed a few cross wires and our flavor engraver is as good as new. Now we ought to be back in business. Yay! Off we go, lads. So uh, what's gonna happen now? Nothing can stop our Infini flavor ice cream from taking off now. Uh, what the hell? Hmm? Bit late for the post, eh? Oh, hello there. Uh, can I help you? Oh, good heavens, no. Uh... The question is rather, how can I help you? Name's Muzzle. Monty Muzzle. Philatelist, philosopher, philanthropist, and purveyor of fairground amusement. I hope by now you've heard about Monty Muzzle's Save the Dogs fundraiser fair to be held this weekend. Uh, oh, no. Uh, yes, we have. Uh, Gromit and I were just... Oh, uh... glad to hear it. I was deeply saddened to hear of your recent tragedy. And I'm making it my duty as a dedicated and devoted dog lover to help you all raise the necessary funds to repair your canine shelter. Imagine. All those precious animals out on the streets. A yeah, tragedy. Sure, what now. a shame for all those dogs. 
But Gromit and I might have the perfect contribution for the fair. We were just putting the finishing touches on our patent pending Infini flavor ice cream machine. Ice cream, you say? Ooh, who doesn't love ice cream? The creamy coldness, the satisfying sweetness, the profit margins. Yeah. And this uh, our machine so has generous. custom flavor technology. Mm. Its flavor scanner extracts taste molecules from any sample provided. We're able to make limitless varieties to suit any customer. My, that does sound impressive. Oh, bye, Eck, Mr. Walrus. I know a Mr. good money Walrus. making opportunity when I smell it. What do you say to this? With my financial firepower and your unique ice cream maker, we could put an Infini flavor retail outlet on every beachfront from Blackpool to Bognor Regis. The world will be your knickerbocker glory. Aww. Franchising. Do you hear that, lad? We could be ice cream barons. If you bring your invention to the fair and manage to make a hefty contribution for this most needed, um, yeah, uh, oh yeah, a dog shelter. Yeah. It's a deal. Gromit and I like couldn't a... be more excited. Oh, uh, our in-house creamery assures us peak freshness. Oh, speaking of the dogs, uh, Gromit and I have come across three little lads who need new lodgings. Well, look at that. Aren't they the most precious things you've ever seen? My charity begins now, and I've got the perfect home for them. Yes, quick-looking devils, too. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Willard. Walk is. Come on, you. Your new home awaits. Do we really need to? Off they go, lad. Uh, say goodbye. Do we really need to? Come on. Well, bye, Twitch. Be seeing you and your contraption at the fair, Mr. Wallace, and uh, be sure to bring your wallet. Yeah, I think we can trust this guy. No, I don't think so. There's something really fishy about him. Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monty Muzzle's Fundraise Affair. It fair warms my heart to see so many charitable souls here today. So let me warm yours by selling you a handful of tickets, available for a nominal fee, the proceeds of which will put a smile on the face of a homeless and abandoned puppy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that them tickets is good for every attraction. You can fry your favorite food, take on a chicken in a game of wits, or ride the mighty muzzle. That's one of Every penny goes to charity, every ticket, in short, will wag a tail. I say, Gromit, isn't this a thrill and such a noble cause, rebuilding a shelter for your canine companions? Yeah, sure. Oh, your new chum must have dropped his toy in excitement. I bet the little fella's having a grand day out. Probably never been to a fair before. What's that? Hey, that must be the remains of one of the flies that was blowing around this morning. I can't abide litter, so I tore it up and offered it as slips of paper to the punters. Save the dog. Okay, something is definitely going on here. Here are here. some tickets, lad. Go and find your friends and have some fun. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next part. Bye.